what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sabrina monique if you are new my channel is just all about beauty so makeup hair skin we just do it all and do it in a way that makes us feel beautiful and have fun while doing it so i hope you stay a while but for today's video we're going to be doing a little natural glam i would call it something that's pretty neutral i feel like i could wear this look anywhere and not feel like it's too overly done but before we get into this video, please subscribe because you know I would truly appreciate that. And if you want more of me, if you're hungry for more, I'm also on IG. My name is honestly Bina under Sabrina Monique. That's where I post all of my makeup photos and any other shenanigans. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright, you already know, I got my primer on, Tatcha Silk Canvas. I just, I'm not going to stop using that, you guys. But for my foundation, I'm going to take my Love is the Foundation brush with my CC cream from Thrive Cosmetics. This is their Buildable Blur. And I am in the shade Beige. I'm just going to pump this onto the brush and tap that in dots all over my face. And wow, this color is really dark. This is because it is winter and I can't get any sun because it's been raining for the past few weeks. Not that fun because that means I can't film or be outside. But, you know, I mean, I could be outside, but it's been really, really, really cold. Colder than usual. Or maybe it's just because I was living in Hawaii for the past four years and I just am not used to the cold anymore. I don't know. But I'm just going to work this CC cream all the way around my face. And it's okay because it matches. Even though it's dark, it matches my skin. So we're going to use some CC cream just to lay down a foundation, even out the skin tone, bring some color to my face because obviously I'm super pale. Okay, once you're comfortable with that, I'm going to go in with concealer now. And usually when I use this CC cream, I like to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for extra coverage because even though this has like really good coverage, I do have some dark spots from acne that I like to just conceal really quick in this little sunspot there and this is in the shade ginger by the way and that's all I do and then I'm going to use my tried and true joy concealer this is in the shade creme brulee okay so we're just going to draw some concealer under the eyes put it on my nose on the bridge of the nose draw some on my forehead and chin cupid's bow all right okay so i'm gonna blend this in with the same foundation brush and i'm just gonna tap in where i put that nars radiant creamy concealer i don't want to spread it out i want to disperse it i just want to tap it in you know what i forgot i forgot to put concealer on my eyelids even if you don't have veins on your lids i would definitely recommend putting concealer all over the, your eyelids if you are doing an eye look like if you're gonna put something there some eyeshadow because it acts as a really great primer you always want to have like a clean canvas i always found it weird when you didn't have anything there and you just put eyeshadow on your bare skin you should have seen me in high school all i wore was foundation and mascara and maybe some chapstick like that's all i would ever do and i would blend it in with my fingers you guys Literally, I, I think it was like a Neutrogena type of foundation. I would tip the bottle over because it didn't have a pump. Get it on my finger and then dot it on my face and then like put it on like as if it was a lotion. What was I doing? I don't know. I didn't start using a brush until later. I didn't know about makeup, guys. I just, I really didn't. I didn't really know anything about makeup up until like college, I would say. I wouldn't even set my foundation. Like I would just leave it as is. Just put on the foundation, curl my lashes, put on the mascara and I was good to go and this is why I only woke up at 7 in the morning for high school people would be waking up at like 5 or 6 a.m. just so that they could get to school because we always struggled with the parking over there and I wasn't about that I was like I need sleep I don't, I don't really care to drive myself to school I can just have my mom drop me off so that I can sleep in more I know I was so spoiled my mom is literally the best mom ever okay you know the drill I'm just gonna leave my nose concealer just like that while I go in with my brows. This is the Benefit Cabrow. This is in the shade 4. And I'm going to take my Sonia Cash brush. The brush I always use in every single video. Nothing new here. But honestly, like when you have like your go-to brow products and your go-to foundation products like for your base and stuff like your concealer and all that, it's hard to switch it up because those are just like essentials. If you don't have your essentials down, the rest of your makeup look is just like out the door. I mean, or it could be a good thing. Change is good all the time, but 
You know what I mean. I know you guys do it too. I know you be using the same foundation all the time. So it's just so good and that same primer all the time. Like when you find something that works for you and it just <clears throat> gives it to you, like you're committed, you know? It's like a relationship. This is essential. One time I was doing my sister's brows and Amanda comes in and she's like, what'd you do to her brows? It looks so bad. I'm like, it's because I haven't done the spoolie yet. You have to trust the process. And she was just getting all mad. And she was like, our Uber's almost here. We need to go. We can't be messing around with our brows. But we didn't have a spoolie. And then finally we found one in Amanda's drawer. And I like worked the brow product through, fixed it and did everything. And then when I was done, Amanda was like, wow, that spoolie is a game changer. And I was like, you see, you can't do your brows without the spoolie. Never forget the spoolie, you guys. Just never forget it, okay? So now that the brows are done, I'm just going to tap really lightly in the same spot right on the bridge of the nose. I don't want to move that concealer. And then I'm just going to tap again over my eyelids just because it creased a little bit since we didn't set it yet. But I'm going to set it now with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm going to use my Morphe M438. And this is in the shade Medium, by the way. And I'm just going to tap that really lightly under the eyes on the lids. Okay, and for the rest of the face, I'm going to switch to a bigger bronzer brush. This is from Julep. It works really nicely for powder as well because it's so big. But I'm just going to tap the powder on my chin, around my mouth a little bit, all over the nose and on the sides where the cheeks are. That's where my pores are the biggest. And then tap it right here where I put concealer on my forehead. And then I'm going to jump into another Charlotte Tilbury product. I really love this brand, honestly. But this is their Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This is in the shade Fair to Medium, I believe. Yes to medium and i'm actually going to use both the bronzer and the highlight today but i'm going to dip into the bronzer first using that bronzer brush from julep and i'm going to start in circular motions in the back and start to bring it forward just right here and i actually really love this brush for bronzing i just haven't used it in a while because i've been so on that like angled brush life you know like the tapered angled brush like that but they both work really really nicely this one i feel like you can go really fast through your bronzer just like sweeping it all over your face for an overall bronze which i'm taking the bronzer around the temples and sweeping it back and forth and then i'm going to bring it back around to the other side of my cheek i feel like this brush bronzes your face so quickly it hits like a lot of cheek though like if you don't want a lot of bronzer and you want just like a very specific area this is not the brush i would use an angled brush but for today i want like an overall bronze actually i'm going to use a morphe m510 brush because i want to hit the sides of my nose so i'm also going to bring it up to my brows go under my nose and then right on top i'm also going to hit that bronzer under the lip all right and then taking the highlight I'm just going to wiggle my brush in there and tap the excess off. And I'm going to highlight the high points of my face. And if you've watched my videos before, I always like to make a little C formation from my cheekbone all the way to my brow and then above the brow. And the reason I really like this combo is because these two work really, really nicely together. And with this highlight, you can make it really subtle or you can make it like really beaming. And I really like that about this highlight because if I go in too heavy hand I have to go back and try to fix it with this. I can just start slow and build it up to the opacity that I want. And don't forget the Cupid's bow. For this one, I like to go in with my finger and just tap it right on. Boom! Let's go in with some blush. I'm feeling a nudie type of blush. So let's go with this brown peachy tulip to quit and I'm going to take this big bronzing brush again, work that product in there and tap off excess and I'm just going to work really lightly sweeping that into the bronzer and highlight and whatever's left over I'll just sweep it all over with the rest of the bronzer and just a little bit on the nose. Now I'm going to go in with some facial spray. This is the Love and a Miss facial toner from Wild Carrot Herbals and because I feel like really powdery right now I'm just going to douse my entire face with this. Okay so for eyes I'm going to go into the Kylie Jordan palette. I'm going to go in with Wife Life with the M433 and I'm just going to place that in the crease. We're not going to do anything crazy today with the eyes. As I said, it's going to be more of a natural glam. And then I'm going to take the shade True Love. I'm just going to fluff that over my entire eye. So on my lids, into the crease, just buff that everywhere. I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. I'm going to take the 
M506 brush and the shade Peru and I'm gonna fluff that into the crease even further. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Sister right here with a flat definer brush and I'm just gonna place that right on my lash line just to add some definition there. Okay, and once I've added that to the lash line, I'm gonna dip just a little bit back into the shade Sister. It's that dark neutral brown. And I'm gonna wiggle it at the ends just to bring it up a little bit. So right here on the corner, I'm just wiggling my brush back and forth just to smoke it out at the outer corner and bring that shade up just a little more. So for my eyes today, this is basically it. I'm just gonna add an inner corner highlight and that's it. For the rest of the eye, it's going to be an all matte look. Okay, so now for the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna take this gold shade, this is called Loyal. And I always go in with my pinky because I never wanna stab myself in the eye with a brush. Okay, and that's it for the shadows. Now I'm gonna take the NYX Light On Glide On pencil in the shade Glitzy Gold. It's getting small, you guys. You can tell I really love wearing gold eyeliner. But I always love putting this on my lower lash line, just sort of smudging it under there and my waterline. But now that I have that on, I'm gonna go in with my eyelash curler. Why do I always hold my hand here? I always look back at my footage and I just see my hand just like hanging. Like, what are you doing? Why are you holding your hand out here? Are you waiting for your check? I don't know what it's doing, but I need to stop that habit. I don't even know why it started. It's just there. And then for my base, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And I'm also going to go in with the Lash Paradise mascara as well. But for this one, I'm just going to do like a little light coat. Just like that. I don't want too much. That's it. Okay, now for the mascara, I'm gonna really wiggle it at the root and then like blink into it. Why do I feel like there's something in my eye? I was about to be like, raise your hand if you guys make a face while doing your mascara. Can you guys tell that I'm a teacher? We are not in school. We are doing makeup tutorials. Okay. Okay. Mascara is on. I also put it on my bottom lashes. We're gonna do the last step and that is lips. So I'm gonna use this Kylie Jenner lip liner. This is in the shade Dolce K. Some people say Dolce, I say Dolce. And it's just because growing up I was in a Spanish immersion elementary school and whenever I was taught like how to pronounce things, a lot of it was how to pronounce Spanish words. Like even like the brand Suave, for the longest time I thought it was called Suave but I was wrong. All right, and then for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors times Desi and Katie liquid lip. It's a talent, honestly. It's a talent if you can apply lipstick, especially liquid lipstick, without getting on your teeth, okay? Because I literally get it on my teeth every single time. I've been really into gloss lately, and I've already mentioned the Pat McGrath glosses, like this one in Bronze Infinity. It's really, really beautiful. There's also Faux Real. Honestly, I could wear this, but I really want to go in with this one today because I found these at the drugstore, and your girl was like, yes, I'm about this. I actually have four shades, but this one's my favorite. This is in the shade, what is this in? Gold Dust. And these are just stunning, okay? It looks like it's a lot of glitter, but you don't even feel the glitter and you just see a lot of reflex on your lips. And it just adds such a nice, like, plump, juicy vibe to your lips. And you can wear these alone by themselves. You can layer it on top of itself. It's not going to get gunky and gross. When I look for a gloss and what makes it for me is I want it to just look stunning, like, plump, juicy, pouty lips. I want the shades to be bomb. Obviously, like, they have some bomb shades here. Look at that. And they just look so stunning on the lips. This one especially. This one's cool. This is, like, an iridescent. And the thing about them is, like, they can look crazy, but they're so wearable. I feel like you could wear them out and it's not gonna look crazy. Like, you would think that this looks, like, really intense. Like, that's a lot of glitter. But you see my lips and it just looks really beautiful. Let me zoom you guys in here. Like, do you see that? So juicy, hydrated, plump, comfortable. Ooh, she cute, okay? Like, how many words can I use to describe this? This is my favorite, okay? This is my favorite shade. It's in the shade Gold Dust. Please go try them out so that you can fall in love with them too because I guarantee you guys, if you try them and you like a shimmery gloss that's really comfortable and hiding to wear, then you're gonna like these. And it also has like a minty feel to it as well as like the scent, but I love it. 
Anyways, that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. That is everything that I want to share with you all. I hope you guys stay and join the family and subscribe below. You know, I would truly appreciate that. And if you want more of me, I'm also on IG at Honestly Bina. But with that being said, remember that you are beautiful in every which way. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Is there ever a day where I can't get my cat to stop? Dude, that's my chair. Stop. As she walks away purring. <sighs> Let me breathe for a second. Can't see. Hold on. Okay. But you don't even feel the glitter and it doesn't... Hold on. Powered off. I don't know. I'm not even sure right now. Why didn't you guys tell me I had to blow your eye out?